Hey everybody, this is Cameron LC7 Owners, and today I'm here with Gianni Riga of Riga Designs, who makes these awesome show placards that you have probably seen on social media, specifically Instagram. And so we're gonna talk with him a bit about how he got started and what options are so that you guys can send him a message over one for yourself. So Gianni, welcome. Uh, thanks for meeting with me. We're out thanks here and yeah, we're out here in Helen, Georgia for Alpine Volks Fair 2023. Uh, just having a blast. So Gianni, tell me how you got started making these. Uh, I mean, I could go all over the place with this. I mean, I took a I took a graphic design class in high school, and that got me very interested in just like what I was capable of with certain digital programs, like in the Adobe Suite. Mm -hmm. And then during high school, I got into the German scene. I had an A, a B6 A4. Um, then I transitioned to a B7 A4 because I was tired of the B6. So I was like, <laughs> this thing kind of sucks, but the B7 also sucked. So then I ended up going to Waterfest. And I noticed at Waterfest they were giving points to people who had like a like a nice list of stuff done to their car. And I'm walking past some of these nice cars and they got like a piece of paper, like an yep. Excel spreadsheet typed down, like like a car that looks like that should probably have something a little nicer. <laughs> so then I got hit and I saw no one making something like this. So I was like, you know what, I might as well give it a shot and then now here we are. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean any show you go to where you want to try and compete you don't want to have the judges guessing at what you have done you know especially if they're not particularly familiar with your make and model you know they might just look at it from the outside and just not know yep. what's done so yeah that's that's a really good point uh so tell me about the actual placards themselves like what options do you offer what do you do with them you know to tell people exactly like if they message you and want something done what information you need what you offer things like that yes yeah, so, i mean this what you see right here is the most common option it's 11 by 17 comes framed and printed um the, uh, the additional option would be the stand it's sitting on right now so as is it with the stand with the frame printed out it's 200 dollars plus shipping depending on where you are I, I'm in New Jersey, so I'm, I meet up with people all the time to drop them off. I don't mind. Yeah. Um, without the stand, 175. But if you see me at a show or something, and you tell me you saw me there, I'll take. I'm, I'm willing to give you a discount. I'm, I'm at events all the time. <coughs> um, I do do bigger sizes. That's where pricing starts to get a little. If you have only done a few of them, so I don't have like a solid price on that. But it's 250 plus usually for everything. Um, yeah, and then. Uh, information i need is just make the pitch site clear side picture of the car like you see on all these everything that you want included so it could be modifications it could be specifications uh like i have i'm doing one right now for someone who has like a bone stock car but he almost wants it to be like a window sticker like all the uh, spec sheet of the car like gotcha. um you know zero to 60 all these all okay. the all the cool stuff that came so with anything you're trying to advertise to people you want people to know yeah. throw it on there yeah plus if you, it's not even like some of the, a lot of these guys don't even show their car. They want it for their office. They want it for their garage. Yeah. Like, so it doesn't have to necessarily be It can before. be some of them like for a gift for somebody. Yeah, even, exactly. Which, so yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, and I know for me, like when I sent it to them, I was just trying, trying to come up with like everything I've done to the car and I broke it down into my own list. So I was like, okay, drivetrain, okay, brakes. And I like broke it all down and sent it to him. And I told him, I was like, hey, mix and match it however you want whatever list you want to do and it was just kind of kept with what i did which works for me because it shows exactly what i've done to the car um so we've already talked about pricing and turnaround time that's another one like from someone contacting you and paying you what's the turnaround time turnaround time is tricky depending on how busy i am i'm, I'm a one-man team i have i have a full-time job on the side well not on the side this is on the side of my yeah. <laughs> but um i don't know usually after a week of me receiving everything, picture, information, everything, a week, week and a half, you should have a draft of what it's going to look like. And then from there, I have to outsource printing, so that could take up to another week. But then after I get the print, it takes a couple of days to ship to you, drop it off, depending on when we decide to meet up. So from like from paying to delivery, we're looking at two and a half to three weeks generally. Yeah, so usually, and usually I, I don't take payment until like you, I get the, the okay. I send you the draft. I, I don't. I trust people like. That might change one day. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but, I mean, you're not going to ship it out until you get paid. So Yeah, exactly. Way, I, yeah. I have watermarks all over it when I send them the draft. I don't yeah, they could do go. anything with it. Gotcha. So, all right. So, that's, I mean, that's fairly quick, especially for a custom thing. Because what he does is he takes that side picture. And just so you guys know the quality of the side picture, I took it with my cell phone. And I took a picture as long as he can make out the details. And he's going to take that picture and put it into a program. And do you use, like, a tablet, like a Wacom tablet or something Yeah, like I hand-drawn it. It's yeah. not, yeah, the HP tablet, yeah. just a pen, digital pen. Yep. So, he's basically re 
redrawing it and then it'll send you that draft and then you know you would review the draft and say hey there's this little tweak here that i would like to change and he might even notice some stuff that he wants to change yeah um, I've, I've unfortunately <coughs> sent out some where like I, I sent out the draft and then I, then I look back at it after after it gets printed I'm in it, have it in my hands and there's a typo and it's just yeah oh it, boy. I mean that happens all right now let's talk about revisions somebody obviously cars aren't no one usually keeps their cars the same for very long and especially in this community so if yep. someone says hey I got a bunch of different stuff I want a revision on this what does that look like in terms of doing that and how much does that cost yep so I, I as a car guy I completely understand you don't want to be spending money all the time so um, most of the case I will if everything's staying the same you're just changing some um, text on the picture maybe just a set of wheels or something uh, or the color of the car um, I will, I'll pretty much just charge for the materials and ship if I have to ship it out to you whatever that costs it's, I don't know I don't know what the yeah. exact figure is I mean, that'll, be, my head, that'll vary yeah okay. um, and then if you want if, if you want to change the size of it when you have the revision done obviously that changes things as well but I, keep, I try to keep it as, you're not paying any extra for a revision you're just paying for what I'm what it costs me to make you the revision okay and you know that may change in the future if you get crazy busy but for now that's that's really 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 sweet um and definitely something that i mean i would not be hitting him up like every month and be like hey i got a new intake hey uh, i, I tend my window I would, I, would, I would turn people away yeah so, <laughs> so he'll have that'll, that'll be at his discretion um all right is there anything else particular to this uh, I, I know we kind of discussed off camera is there anything other than this stuff that you do that you want people to know about that like they might be interested in so i mean I, I, I kind of dab, I've dabbled in like logo design for companies. I have a couple on my Instagram that I did a while back, but it's, I'm not the best at it. So it's not like, I don't know. I, I, I don't like advertise myself as a logo designer, but if you want, if you know someone that wants a logo, I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, I'm pretty fair with my pricing because I am not the greatest, but this is what I do. Um, and then I, I think you saw my Facebook, po the a Facebook post I put in the group for this. I have that mm -hmm. Volkswagen post. Yeah, 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 yeah. That so was a I, really cool. Design. I do, I do a bunch of stuff like that as well. Obviously, now that I'm much busier with um, these show plaques, that those have kind of take gone to the back burner. But in my free time, I'll make stuff like that. I've done, yeah. put them on T-shirts, posters. I have a. I have one similar to that with an Audi Quattro with like a mountain in the background and stuff. It's pretty cool. He also did, if you follow me, obviously you're watching this, but uh, the big body Audi meet that I'm hosting at Helen, which is today, he did the flyer for that. And I was like, hey man, is there any way you could do this? Because the one I came up with looked awful. And he knocked that flyer out for me. Um, so he's, he's got an artistic eye for those kind of things that looks really good. Um, so if you need anything like that, you know, the worst he could tell you is no. So, you know, you can always reach out to him and say, hey, I want something like this done. And if he can't do it, he'll tell you. But yep. Plus, I know some people in the in the field that I can I can give you suggestions if there you I go. don't think I could do it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Johnny, dude, thank you so much. Thank you for this. This thing is so, so cool. I, I am so excited to have it out there. I actually bought like a raised stand for it to, to put out next to the car because my car is going to be a show car or a booth car for integrated engineering at the actual show this weekend. And my car, there's some cool stuff on the outside, but most of what's done in my car is on the inside, especially with things like the PCV relocation that some people might not know about. So the fact that I have this on there that people can really see the work that's been put into it makes me really, really happy. So, dude, thank you once no, again. Thank you. And thank you for helping out the channel and getting this done. I've been seeing these everywhere this weekend. It's so cool to see those. Yeah, like, my entire house everywhere. has one right now. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Check out his Instagram. It is uh, at Riga Designs, R-I-G-A Designs, all in word. Check him out. He's got a Facebook page, too. And uh, hit him up. Go get yourself one of these placards. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Cool.